Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video. Today I want to share five different luxury items that I used to buy that I do not buy anymore because to me, and this is completely my opinion and my opinion only, that I do not need to be spending that much money on these particular items. Of course, never say never, right? But you know, as of right now, over the years, I've discovered that some products, just because they're more expensive, doesn't mean they're superior. There's plenty of alternatives that you can take a look at that um, doesn't need for you, there's no need for you to pay that much money for. I mean, it's the same thing. I, you could totally say the same thing about, you know, handbags and whatnot. But there are other things that I want to save my money on so that I can purchase the things I love that costs a little bit more. So just jumping right into it, I wanna keep this very short and sweet. If you are loving this content, I will make five more because I've got a lot of things I can cover. There's five more things that I could cover that I no longer spend money on. Buy this instead of that kind of thing. So let me know. And if you're new here, I hope you enjoy this con kind of content. Let me know um, by hitting that like button and subscribe that you're enjoying this so I can continue making more videos like this for you. number one is SLGs. I won't spend too much time on this, but I did go through an entire video of how you can buy SLGs that are very, uh, that's an alternative to the Louis Vuitton SLGs. So I'll link that up below for you to check out, but I don't really spend too much time or money on SLGs anymore. They used to interest me a lot. And I understand for a lot of you who um, have a smaller budget or maybe just trying out uh, some of the big luxury brands and it's an easier entryway for you to purchase these SLGs. I know instead of spending you know $3,000 or $2,000 on a bag, it's easier to kind of buy an SLG from like Louis Vuitton or like Gucci for like five, $600. It's much more attainable by all means, please do so and see if you like the quality and having a little luxury that's you know with you without spending that much money. But my, in my opinion and my kind of stage in life where I can afford buying more expensive bags, and for me, I also find it a, a big hassle to kind of switch out wallets where I have to grab everything out of the wallet and put everything in, into a new wallet, and I end up always just forgetting something and leaving it behind in my old wallet. So I find that to be a real hassle. So I tend to use, I've been using this for the past like six, six, seven, eight months and has worked really well for me. And also this in day and age, I know long wallets back in the day are really popular. Um, I'll just kind of move this one in sight as well. SLGs, right? Mini pochettes. Um, I know long wallets used to be really popular back in the day. That's because we had like, you know, a bunch of gift cards, a bunch of credit cards, we use cash. Um, but nowadays everything's digital, right? Even like, do I really need my credit card because I can actually pay with my phone or with my watch, right? So for me, I'm pretty pared down when it comes to my cards. I have a little bit of cash and um, a business card or two, uh, <clears throat> company credit card. And then uh, I just, I still carry the, my main credit card just in case, you know, for some reason the Apple, um, the Google Pay is not working. So. That's why I only have with this little card holder um, for all of my essentials. Here is another example that I purchased um, that is a really slim card that, you know, I kind of use this as my backup saying like, hey, these are the cards I don't need, like my HSA card and whatnot. Um, I've kind of put in here and store at home, or if I want to use this one, I can easily toss this into any mini bags I have or even larger bags. But I tend to like to use this one from dress up your purse. A little bit better um, because it's got the D ring um, and the keychain if you want to hook keys on there. So I, I really like the functionality of this much better than this one, even though this one is just as nice. Um, this one's from Bellroy. And I know Dress Up Your Purse recently just launched some new products. So I do have a coupon code down there if you want to use it for 15% off, but there's a lot of new products and it's like selling out very quickly. So definitely check that out. So that's item number one. We'll move, move this to the side. Item number two is skincare. Oh my goodness, back in the day, I used to spend so much money on skincare. And quick story is that I didn't really get into skincare like very full blown until 
2020 where I had math me and I went down a rabbit hole of using or look, watching YouTube and how to take care of my skin and restore my skin. Now it's doing amazing, but I used to spend a lot of money on skincare because I wasn't going through it very quickly. One, you don't want that stuff to expire. Number two, um, I wasn't using it consistently, right? That's why I wasn't going through it. So I didn't think that that was expensive because, so for example, Tatcha, love the brand, love um, the products. It does work. It is very nice, but it is so freaking expensive. I mean, there is no reason why you should pay, I'll link a, a picture of what I'm talking about, like the Dewy Skin Cream, that's like $70. That is obscene. There's no reason for you to, to pay that much. For their essence, it's $110. I use essences and like toners, like it's water, right? I love hydration. I have dry skin, so I love hydration. That is like super essential for me to to have, especially during the winter. So for me to go through $110 every month, I mean, that's insane. So absolutely not. Same thing with other brands that I know that are popular, like Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury, that's $100 for just their like miracle cream. It's not, it's not miracle. Okay. <laughs> so I don't, I don't think it's complete, it's necessary. And then things like super goop, which is an essential for you to have sunscreen in your daily routine uh, and sh you should t you should really be reapplying it not for just like prevention of skin cancer or anything but prevention of wrink wrinkles I do see a difference um, that when you wear sunscreen it does help with the fine lines and wrinkles and you know the sun is like the devil when it comes to aging and premature aging and that's like $48 for a tiny little bottle I've used it not impressed and then, of course, there's Sunday Riley, again, again, a very popular one, and that's like $85. That is just crazy for a serum or for like an oil or anything. I mean, I've tried the products. It's nice, it's, but it's nothing to write home about. So instead of buying and spending so much money at Sephora, uh, which I like never go to except to <laughs> just to go pick up my birthday gift, free stuff, why not? So what should you buy instead? So this one, there's like nothing left. There's, I've been trying to save this so I can show you guys, but this is the mugwort essence and this is a Korean. And let me just tell you, Korean and Japanese, Asian skincare in general is just much more superior than American produced or American based uh, skincare. Their technology, their um, philosophy, it's just way like decades ahead of what American uh, companies are producing and for skincare it over there it's like a necessity whereas here it's kind of like and and this is me right I'm I'm I grew up in Asia and skincare in Asia trumps makeup all day every day right now that I'm older I wish I had focused more on skincare as opposed to makeup um, when I was younger of, of course starting with sunscreen so I don't know if you're from different countries, let me know, like, what do you guys focus on? Is it makeup or skincare or both? I mean, I hope it's both because, you know, it's much more fun to focus on both, right? So anyways, I'm going to talk about the mugwort essence. This is very hydrating. Mugwort is very soothing. So again, during the winter, my skin is very dry and irritated. So this is like the holy grail. Um, so this only costs about, what, $22 as opposed to like the Tatcha $110. That's just like night and day, right? So this is a really good one. If you're looking for something that is a little bit accessible, you can buy this on Amazon, but then I actually purchased directly from Korea where this website called Stalvana, and I'll link everything down below. But if you don't want to purchase from, you know, Korea, which it takes a little bit longer, if you need something really quick, this is an excellent one that you can get from Ulta. It's called Peach Slices, and this is a great toner that I've been using. Uh, this is like empty already, but I do have another bottle open, so. That one's probably, that one's only $13. And I'm sure with Ulta, there's always some sort of coupon that you can use. So this is gonna be less than $13. I think they also sell this at CVS. So talking about sunscreen, this is another favorite of mine. This is uh, 
a gel form. So for me, like during the day, I don't want to look greasy when it comes to my sunscreen because I want to put makeup over it or whatever. Or if it's greasy, then it starts sliding down and I don't want to have to go through multiple steps or powdering my face just so my sunscreen doesn't move. And then what if I re reapply? Do I got to powder my face again, right? So with this one, it's a gel form. So it just sinks right into your skin very nicely. I usually do two layers. And this is priced at $10 on Salvana for 150 grams. Um, I think this is a pretty big bottle, right? And it's only $10 and it works phenomenally. And then here's another mugwort cream that I just finished. Um, this was great. Again, very soothing. It's very gel-like, but then it's also creamy at the same time. I don't even know how to describe it. I think this one was like maybe $15 or $20. So there's no, again, no reason for you to pay $70 to Tatcha or any other brand that's similar to Tatcha. That much money for a cream. And then the two last item here, this is... Um, Timeless skincare for vi vitamin C. And I think this one you can get at Target or directly from their website. Um, pretty cost effective. It is, I think, don't get the jumbo one because I don't think they are vitamin C uh, container or how they keep this. Oh my God, it's disgusting. <laughs> um, how they store this, it, it doesn't keep its efficacy. So you will want to get the smaller bottle and repurchase often because I think I got greedy and got like the massive bottle, but it started to turn um, really dark, which loses its efficacy. So this is a uh, pretty cost effective as well. Again, no need to pay like $80, $90 for vitamin C. And lastly, this is a, a retinol or retinol high from Naturian. Also, just looking at Naturium, if you want something a little bit more accessible, obviously you can go to Naturium's website and then they also sell at Target. Everything, all of their skincare is under $25. So much more affordable. The, the YouTuber I watch, she's the creator of Naturium, so, or part creator of Naturium, and she has us in mind to keep it really cost effective as well as formulating in a way that she feels and uh, you know her philosophy and whatnot and I do like her philosophy she is very educational definitely check out her YouTube video but I am a big supporter of Naturium I don't like all of their products but this one I really do like and it's only like most of them like I said under $25 this one is $29 but they do go on sale you know 10 20 percent off all the time so um, I think this is a, an excellent one too so Number two, probably spending a little too much time on this, but skincare. It does not need to be expensive in order for it to work. Now, like of course, there's Lemur and all of that, right? That, that's just like, please don't. I, I don't need to, I'm not, I'm not a skin fluids or anything, but go watch other people's videos and they will tell you the same thing. So, number two. Item number three is perfume um so this is one i bought a while back from tory birch but i do not buy and spend money on designer perfumes anymore spending 150 dollars or if you go to like le labo it's like 200 dollars or 300 dollars for a bottle that you just spray on yourself um i don't think it's a good use of my money again if you love it please go for it whatever makes you happy, right? For, for me, I have found this company called Dossier, where they make dupes of all of these luxury brands for $39, $49, so it's just, you know, 40 or $50. And they come in a nice bottle. My boyfriend peeled off the sticker um, for this, so sorry. <laughs> but I'll link everything again down below. But these are all dupes and they smell pretty much exactly like the real things. So this bottle, I want to say, I forget, but it's like, what, $80, $90 at least for a Tory Burch one. Now, if you go into the premium um, products like Gucci or, you know, Baccarat, Baccarat, am I saying that correctly? The, the super popular one, that one is like $300. You can get dupes from Dossier for $39, $40, $50. And I know Dossier is running promotions where if you buy three, 
it's 10% by four, 15% off by five or more, it's 20% off. So it's, it's not like you're even paying that 40 or $50. It's less than that. And it comes in a really nice box where um, it's like this particular one. And then they give you a sample and you can test it out. You can test it out and see if you like the smell. If you don't like it, you can just send the whole thing back and keep the sample, which is kind of nice because they are an online uh, based store. So they know you can't test everything out. So they thought about, about that and it's really good about letting you test something out before keeping it and committing to, honestly, it's a $50 bottle. So usually I just keep it. I'm, I think I might've returned one or two where I just couldn't stand the smell. <laughs> but so funny story, we actually were at Nordstrom's, my boyfriend and I, and he, I was just looking at purses or belts or whatever, or talking to the sales associate there. And all of a sudden, my boyfriend comes running up to me with like five different like pieces of paper or sample with perfumes. He's like, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? And then he disappears again. I'm like, okay. And then he comes back. He's like, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm testing out the smells to see if I like it. And I'm looking at the dossiers. He had his phone and had dossier pulled up. And he's like, look, I'm looking through all of the options and I'm smelling them to see if I like them. And then I'll order on dossier. I looked at him. I was like, I'm so proud of you <laughs> uh, for, for not spending money because he used to buy a lot of like Christian Dior or like Versace or whatever uh, brand name um, for, for cologne perfumes, whatever you call them. And he would spend a lot of money on that. But now that I, he saw me buy Dossier, he's like, what's this? And he was hooked. So he ended up ordering like eight bottles. And I think this is one of them that he gave me or I stole from him, um, the musky green tea. So yeah, he, he ordered a bunch. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. So yeah, this is why I do not buy designer perfumes anymore. And Dossier is just one of them. They're, I think they're the most popular one, but there are a lot of other brands out there doing the same thing. So you can definitely explore. Um, but I've made the Lilabo one, the Centel 33, my signature scent. And everybody that I come across, they're like, what does that smell? Oh, do you have the Centel 33? I'm like, hey, hey, yeah, sort of. <laughs> Let me tell you about Dossier. So yeah, so this is a, a great option. And of course, buy this one instead of the designer brands that you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on. So topic number four are scarves. I don't spend money on luxury scarves anymore. Again, it's the same idea as the SLGs and you know, you can get designer stuff for not a big ticket charge on it. So it's nice to have like an entryway or something to accessorize with not thousands of dollars. I completely understand that, but I'm just not really a scarf person. And I feel like if I'm wearing a designer bag or if I'm wearing some designer shoes or maybe a bracelet, I don't need to add another scarf to my already decked out outfit and just be logos everywhere. To me, that's a little too much. So I like to be very understated when it comes to my scarves. If I were to be wearing a scarf, which I don't really wear scarves in the beginning to begin with because I get really hot easily when I'm wearing scarves. So I use and of course I have a tendency of losing them. This is a nice one that I have that actually came with a coat that I bought. So it's not like I went out of my way to purchase a scarf, but this one is wool. Um, it's really pretty and it matches my coat that I bought, which I think is kind of cool because it's kind of like the scarf jacket um, idea. So I'll link this down below if you want to check out the coat that I bought, which is actually pretty gorgeous. Um, so when I do buy scarves uh, and, or maybe I buy scarves as gifts, I don't buy the big luxury brands. I actually go when I do travel, like for example, my friend went to Scotland and she bought a scarf that's locally made by artisans with, you know, local Highland cow, Highland sheeps, whatever. I forget what it was, but you know, it's from local artisans that I'm happily to support. And it's, you know, quality material made from the sheepies there, right? <laughs> and then when I went to Peru, I've taken a look at all of the different uh, alpaca scarves and gloves and whatever. Again, supporting the locals. That's when I probably would only buy scarves. 
outside of, you know, ones that came with my jackets. And if you're looking for something like silk scarves, so a little bit more prettier, I did find this brand called Fable. Uh, England, I've never bought their stuff, but I'm, I got some in my cart. I'm ready to hit that checkout button. Um, but they've got really pretty silk scarves with um, different prints that will go really well with your, you know, outfit. Like you can turn that, that silk scarf that is around your neck and turn it into a head headband, you know, pretty versatile. And it's only $24 plus $12 shipping, which I'm sure you can buy like five or six scarves. So you don't need to spend like two, three, five hundred dollars on a silk, silk scarf from like Gucci or whatever. So some alternatives there. Last thing that I no longer buy from the luxury brands are gloves. So I used to buy, I think I had a pair of Burberry scarf or excuse me, gloves. I also had a pair of Gucci gloves. I, I can't remember. I had a number of pair of gloves. And I no longer buy them anymore because I just keep losing them. The amount of scarves and gloves I've lost is amazing. And I don't know if you're just as like clumsy or uh, irresponsible as I am, but I just lose gloves all the time because a lot of these gloves, they don't have like the tech, tech, the tech tips like the luxury gloves, like the Burberry one. I don't know if they do that nowadays, but back in the day when I did buy luxury gloves, they did not have the tech tips. So anytime you want to access your phone, you got to pull up the gloves, hold on to the gloves or put it in your pocket and you can play with your phone or answer calls or whatever or text people. When you do that, the more times you take off your gloves, the more times that you have to put it back on, you will lose one. And when you spend $500 on a pair of gloves and you lose one, in 10 minutes, that is not a good use of your money. <laughs> so I've stopped buying luxury gloves. They are pretty, right? But I don't, I don't just like, just don't do it anymore. So I buy these Lululemon ones and these Under Armour ones for like 15 or $16 or even $25. I know I've gotten my Lululemon ones from the outlet for like $16. And these were, I think like 20 bucks. You lose them it's not a big deal. Like you don't have as much of a heartbreak. I love these gloves because you don't actually have to take them off to, again, with the, the tips. So you can easily, you know, look at your phone, answer a text without having taken off your gloves. Right. And I still lose these, right? <laughs> the amount of times where I w I'm walking my dogs and all of a sudden I can't find my gloves, I would have to backtrack like half a mile to go find my glove because I refuse to buy any more gloves than I have to. Um, so yeah, this is one last thing I do not spend money on anymore. So I really hope that you enjoy that. Again, these are all my opinions. You do what you want with your life, but I've learned over the years, this is what I rather spend my money on as opposed to the, the latter. So I, if one of these things is your takeaway and you can implement into your life and giving you a different perspective. I am so happy because I want to help you out. And nobody taught me this, right? I had to find this out on my own via YouTube or just reading a lot about it and me coming across these problems myself, right? So like and subscribe if you are enjoying this content. I do want to see if I can hit a thousand this year. Um, that again, apparently is the golden number. So I would love your support so that I can continue making videos like this for you. So I want to cover topics that will help you adult easier. Life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can live your best life and less in retail. See you next time.